Stamping Crafters. My name is Verna Mullen from Stampinotes.com. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I love to share the joy of paper crafting and card making. And today I want to share with you how to make this beautiful little um, pinwheel quilt card. Isn't this just pretty? And it is for Christmas, but you could make them for any occasion. It's a great way to use up your scraps. And with this card, I have used a specialty designer series paper. It is a Christmas or holiday paper, and it is a brightly gleaming um, paper. It was uh, in the catalog last year and carried over to this year, but I love the gold highlights in it, the gold foil. And I've also used a star um, from our Stitch Stars set. I've used this tiny little star to put in the center here. So let's get started and I'll show you how to make this adorable pattern. So what we need to begin with is four squares of each of two different patterns. And both of these patterns are from the Brightly Gleaming um, Designer Series Paper, Specialty Designer Series Paper. And those squares are one and a quarter inch each. And then we need two larger squares that are two and five inch square, two and five eighths inch square each. It's hard to say. And I've got these right here. So the first thing we're gonna do to make our card is I'm going to line up this going from point to point on a grid on my designer or on my grid paper here. And this square is going to layer over that, going this way, and it will hang over just a bit, um, this line right here, this grid line. So it looks like that is pretty well centered. Maybe it needs to come up just a tad from the bottom. There, so it is over this curd line here a little bit and on the bottom a little bit. And then it is also over this line on each side, just a little bit. So once you have that layered on there the way you want it, I am just going to lift up this edge and put some glue down here. And I'm going to lift up this bottom edge and run some glue this way. Okay, so that will hold that in place. I forgot to tell you that I cut these squares using the layered squares. And this is the second smallest square in the, the squares with the little edge on it. Um, so it puts that nice little edge on these pieces also. First thing, your first square, you're going to put on the right side right here. And you want just a little bit of an edge of your, of your card stock below to show. Oh, I've got two squares there. So the other thing with your first square is your last square, you're gonna tuck under this square. So we're only gonna put glue on this um, edge on the right side of this square like that and you want to be sure a little glue there you want to be sure that you you're seeing an edge edging around there I happen to be a quilter I love to quilt and so I I love any kind of the card quilt patterns now you can start putting glue all over the back of your next pieces. And we're just gonna follow our pattern along the edge of our cardstock. We're gonna lay this one like this. And now we're gonna go with our star pattern. This one goes on next. I had made these a while ago, but I forgot um, the details. So I watched a video tutorial by uh, Stamping with Christina and she had, she had done a beautiful card and 
that jogged my memory about how to do this. And actually these measurements are from her. So this one we'll put here. All right, so also you wanna be lining up these lines also and your side lines. You don't need a lot of glue. This glue holds really well. And so we want this to be lining up with that there. It's a rainy day today in Western New York. We actually have had a drought this summer, so our ground is really dry. That one will go there, and you'll see your points will be lining up too. If you are not a subscriber to my channel, subscribe and then hit the bell, and you will be notified when I upload my next video tutorial. I'd love to have you subscribe. Okay, so this is going to be our last... Um, square and it's going to go like this and we're going to tuck it under that edge there so i'll bring this in like this if i can get that up okay and we're going to tuck that down there like that and then you'll need to put a little dab of glue here to hold this one down. Isn't that pretty? So our pinwheel square is done, except for our star. I cut this star out of gold foil, and what I did was I laid it on our piece of our adhesive paper, and this is the adhesive paper, and you'll see there's a line here where you tear this piece off. And there's a sticky side, so you will lay your, um, you tear that off and lay that sticky side onto your piece of foil or paper, whatever you're going to be using to cut out your shape. And then you cut it out, and then that leaves a sticky backing, an adhesive backing on the back of it. And we just have to pull this up. You see, you can take your, take a pick tool and just pull that up like this. Well, I had it there a minute. There we go. And what's really nice is you don't have to mess monkey around with glue that's got a nice adhesive on it. And our star is gonna go in the center like that. Next, we're gonna pop this up with dimensionals on our piece of Whisper White cardstock. The Whisper White cardstock is five and a quarter by four. And if all of my uh, materials that I use and measurements will be in the description below. If you miss anything or if I forget to say something, just check that description um, down below. And there will be a link to my online store where you can order supplies to make this card or anything else, other stamping supplies that you would be interested in. Right now there is a sale on our specialty or on some of our designer series paper. It's 15% off. Stampin' Up! has beautiful designer series paper. Okay. So we've got our backs off our dimensionals, and I'm going to bring in my white um, paper, and I have embossed this piece of cardstock with the Old World Paper 3D embossing folder. So it gives it a wrinkled paper look. It's really cool. I'm going to set my um, pattern, let's see, I think I want it this way. I'm going to put it kind of near the top. That looks centered. Now, on this card, I had used this uh, very vanilla ribbon with a gold trim, and I'm almost out of it. I don't have enough to make a bow, so I really love that look. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to run it 
across the bottom here and tape it because I don't have enough to make a bow. I'm going to tape it until uh, onto the back until I to hold it until I get this top piece glued down in place. So you just come in, hold your ends over, and slide that under there a bit. Hold this end under. And I've used the, the Lovely Labels Pick a Punch, and I'm gonna use this one right here. I have a three quarter inch wide piece strip of very or whisper white paper, and you just put that in there. And it, um, I didn't have it in there far enough, and it punches a nice edge to it. And I'm actually just going to probably cut that off right there. Just want to make sure it's nice and straight. And I'm going to stamp this with a greeting from Itty Bitty Christmas. And I'm going to use Pretty Peacock, which is the color of our cardstock base. And this is the Itty Bitty Christmas set. This is a wonderful set. It has all kinds of great holiday or Christmas greetings. Okay, and I chose Celebrate the Season. I'm going to bring this in and stamp it on our piece of, on our little tag. I'm going to pop this on with dimensionals also. So this is going to hold our ribbon down and we'll cover this edge that's too there that's pretty even without the bow it's pretty i'm bringing in the star designer elements and these have an adhesive on the back and i'm going to put a star right here and you could probably put more around. Okay. I'm turning this over and I'm gonna bring in our foam adhesive strips. Just a little easier to use right now than the dimensionals. that card from up. They also have a backing. And I'm going to put a dimensional up there because We didn't go all the way to the end there. All right, and this is our card base. So our card is done. Isn't that beautiful? Thanks for stopping by, and I hope you have a great day. Take care.